Hi, this is Xiaohui Liu here, and uh, I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Escrip. Uh, Escrip is a company that provides smart contract solutions on exclusively on Bitcoin SV. Actually, we are upgrading our products to provide not only the standalone smart contract solution, but also providing a so-called full stack suite of APIs and uh, tools to help developers to de uh, easily integrate smart contract into the application. So normally you can think of if you have a smart contract, right? Now it's very easy to develop thanks to the Escape uh, framework. So for anybody who now knows uh, pretty much JavaScript or it's so-called it's a closed sibling called TypeScript. So anybody who knows in Web2, that's the most popular language out there. So anybody who knows that already, which is like 25 million developers worldwide already familiar with it, they can come and then start building a script contract immediately. To them, they don't have to know anything, a new language, no new tool, they can just reuse the same language they are already familiar with. That's why I call it, it is the most potent in a developer framework in all, not only in BSV, but also across the whole blockchain space because for all other blockchains, you have to learn something, new language like a Solidity or kind of some kind of a Rust or even a Move language, which is kind of esoteric. But also you have to, because it's new language, you also have to learn all set of new tools. For here, you can come here, it just is as easy as you program the so-called web tool. Okay, so then that platform further enhances that easily by providing not only the smart contract standalone pieces, but all the related toolings. For example, how do you authenticate users? How do you read from the blockchain? How do you write to it, broadcast transactions? How do you, you know, subscribe to blockchain events? So we have all this, provide all this infrastructure plus the toolings. So let developers develop any apps on Bitcoin 10 times or if sometimes even 100 times faster and easier to help them save time and money. So I think this is a key missing piece that's going to take, you know, from Bitcoin to some kind of, a, let's say a niche, you know, kind of nerdy uh, ecosystem to the mainstream audience. For example, we're adding APIs that lets you, you know, read easily from the blockchain and also write from the blockchain, you know, query from the data from the blockchain, but also you can listen to real-time events in, from the blockchain. And we we'll also add uh, several wallets, native support, so they, you, you can you use the wallets to authenticate users, which pretty much every app has to use. And also you have, they can use the wallet to authorize uh, the signing to before the broadcast transaction. I think this is a key missing piece That's, that is absolutely necessary for this space to take over the, the mainstream models. Unless you have the good tools and developer tools and infrastructure, the apps is just taking too long to be built. And then as a result, you know, we don't have as much experiments on Bitcoin, let's say iOS, right? You can build all kinds of apps. And if you somehow, if it takes a year to build versus take like a week to build, the face of innovation is completely different. I think this is going to be the, the major, major missing piece that's going to enable Bitcoin to become much more adopted. Here, we just offer the, the infrastructure, the, the tools, and it's up to the developers to come up with all kinds of novel ideas, which that's only doable on Bitcoin. For example, they can have uh, built uh, some kind of contracts that can enable the games, the games that can be played fully on chain. Right? There's no centralized servers, it never goes down, and nobody can take, for example, your game character away, and it's fully transparent. So this just enables new kinds of games. Invisible before, while well, you can do it fully on chain, on, on Bitcoin. And this is just one type, this game, I think which I'm, I think is uh, very interesting. If you look at all the past technologies, right? One, you know, gaming is almost the number one, or sometimes the number two, you know, area to adopt the new technology and make it mainstream. Last year, we also spending a lot of energy on this uh, very, you know, hot topic called zero knowledge proof. So for people who have not heard about this, the zero knowledge proof is almost like a moon math or some kind of a magic cryptography that lets somebody prove, you know, Alice, let's say prove something. She has some knowledge about a secret X without telling Bob, the 
the secret X itself. So Bob still can be convinced. Yeah, sounds impossible at, at the beginning, but uh, you know, that's the magic of cryptography. You can actually use this. So zero knowledge, why I think we spend a lot of time because it has a lot of implications and use cases in Bitcoin, especially in smart contract platform. For example, you know, a lot for smart contract because it's fully on chain and it's public. So a lot of time you may not want to expose all the information, right? For example, let's say we want to play some kind of like on chain poker, right? So poker is different from, let's say chess, because it's a so-called, uh, you know, incomplete information game. Because, you know, where if Alice is playing with Bob, Alice, you don't want to Alice to know all the cards of Bob or Bob vice versa, right? or know what's under the deck. You don't want that get exposed. Then zero knowledge is the only way that uh, you can validate all the rules is being followed. You know, nobody's double counting. Uh, no, so you don't have uh, double cards. You don't have, uh, you're not spent using cards you don't have. So you can validate all the logic of the contract without exposing all the private data. For example, what cards Bob has. So this, uh, this enables new kind of info, uh, contract that's previous thought was impossible. Basically, you can have contracts that can validate the logic of your app without disclosing the private data. And also it can help with the so-called scalability because of the, another you know, is the technology it enables called ZK Zero Knowledge Rollout. The idea is also simple. Basically, instead of processing one transaction at a time, you compress, right? let's say 1,000 transactions into one transaction. Within this transaction, you have a proof. If this Zero Knowledge proof is is valid, you know all the 1,000 kind of like sub-transactions, they are all valid. So in this way, you can batch processing without compromising the security or the validity of uh, Bitcoin transactions. Personally, I spend a lot of time, you know, working on a problem basically to demonstrate empirically Bitcoin is turning complete. You know why I think the you may, a lot of people just may say, hey, well, it, it seems that this is like, uh, you know, esoteric or if not a uh, niche problem, why do, you, why do I spend a lot of my, per, even personally, <laughs> uh, investing in this problem? Because this is one of the fundamental issues, why people launch alternative blockchains after Bitcoin's launch. A huge reason, I think the number one reason or misconception is they think, you know, rightfully or wrongly, they thought the Bitcoin can, is not turn complete. So that means a lot of uh, contracts you can do on other blockchains, but not on Bitcoin. Because that's a, that's a major reason people launch, let's say Ethereum or Sonala, because they think, oh, you cannot do this on the original Bitcoin. But you know, after I demonstrate again and again, we're using you know, Game of Life, we're using uh, Rule 1, one zero. we use uh, uh, turn, turn machines. Uh, uh, complete, uh, we just programmed turn machines directly on Bitcoin. All of this, and repeatedly have demonstrated empirically, you know, Bitcoin is turning complete. So that has huge implication. Why? Because that says if there's any smart contract on other any other programming language, on any other blockchains that can be done, you can also do it in Bitcoin. But because Bitcoin is more scalable and secure. That defeats the whole purpose, right? That's just an ex existential uh, threat to all the other blockchains out there because that just proved we can do everything they can do and much more performant. So that begs the question, right? Why do you need other blockchains? It's a huge, I think it's a point. I think a lot of people, when they first learn it, that it's just shocking, which is good effect for us. We can bring more use cases, more users, and also more business, hey, to say, in, in terms of a smart contract capability, this is as powerful as you can get. It's the most powerful blockchain out there.